Hello everyone, uh, my name is Julio Salgado uh, and I am with uh, part of uh, Dignidad Rebelde, one half of Dignidad Rebelde, Jesus yeah. Barraza. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jesus Barraza, uh, along with Melanie Cervantes, we make up Dignidad Rebelde. Amazing uh, artist from the Bay Area. Um, I've been a huge fan of you guys uh, forever and so... I'm having an upper uh, fan moment here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, so anyway, so um, uh, we wanted to talk to you, uh, Jesus, about your involvement with um, the portfolio, the Culture Strike uh, portfolio. Yeah. Um, and how'd you get involved? How'd you get involved in it? Um, I mean, uh, I, I was involved in the whole Culture Strike. Mm -hmm. uh, Culture Strike uh, trip to Arizona where it was a whole delegation of artists. And so... Being one of the artists, I was uh, asked by Fabiana to participate in the portfolio. And so to me, it was really important to be part of this because as a printmaker, um, I really like making prints. So it, it's <laughs> fun to be part of this project and to to work with all these other artists and, and be part of this amazing project. Cool, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that. I mean, I, I was part of that delegation and it was just, I think it was just amazing because, you know, I, I, think, I think any activist... Anybody working for immigration should really go to the heart of, of yeah. where some of these laws yeah. are. And I mean, I think a lot of activists are doing that, but I think facing that, you know, head on and like the, the realities, you know, being yeah. by the border yeah. is crazy enough. For me, it was um, we during the, the year that everything really popped off in 2010, where it went really national for us, it was we were making all this art and sending it over there for like the different rallies that were going on. So... For me, uh, I had made all this art, but I had never really been to Arizona. So, you know, yeah, that trip was really important to get out there, to see what was going on, to, um, you know, this idea of we will not comply went from being a poster to being actually seeing it as uh, uh, these people, these people who are living there, seeing it as a reality. So it was really true. Yeah. And which, I mean, takes me to the next question. Like, how do you think, like, what's the, why is it important that we, um, and you know that we merge and we talk about the the merge of art and and activism. How how do you think? I mean, for me, I think I I I like to work a lot with organizations. And usually, when we work with organizations, we always approach them in terms of how can we help you do what you're doing. And a lot of times, what that translates to is to actually what? taking the work that they're doing, taking the messaging that they have, and making it into an art piece. And so for us, it's really it's is what we're doing is we're translating the work that the organizations are doing into a piece that then can be put out to the world and, and all these people can see it. And so a lot of times it helps uh, people uh, better understand these politics that are being put out by the organizations in an art piece. And so it, it makes it more accessible to the community. And so that's, that's why I really like um, doing this the way that we're doing it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. No, yeah, I mean... Yes, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, talk about your piece for the portfolio. What you know? Talk about the imagery that you chose and and why is it that you chose here? So the piece that I did was it's actually a, a reprint of a piece I had done really early on of, of when I started making art, and it's it's a piece that's entitled "No Abuso del Immigrante, Don't Abuse the Immigrant," and it's it's a simple profile of a person. It's just like a profile of their face, and it has a speech bubble coming out. And in in their mind, it says, you know, don't abuse immigrants, and, and but in Spanish. And so to me, that was uh, an idea that early on, for me, growing up around the border in San Diego and, and having, you know, since I was a little kid, seeing this presence of the Border Patrol and what that meant. And before, you know, you have to think back that before 1994 uh, or in the mid-90s when Operation Gatekeeper happened and, and pushed a lot of the immigration, um, the people coming over the border, um, to Arizona, a lot of that was, was in San Diego. And so to me, it was like, that was a thing. And what I remember in high school, when uh, people were actually just doing like mad dashes across the border, across the, 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 the linea, and people were just like, they would run up to the border and, you know, like sneak in between the cars. And then they would just, you know, a big group across the border. So to me, and, and there was this whole, this whole idea that, you know, all these people that were being caught, you know, they were, 
you know, they were not being treated very nice. So to me, that really goes back to my college experience as a kid from growing up, seeing how, how people who are just trying to get to a, a better life, you know, trying to move, are being mistreated by the Border Patrol, have to deal with these crazy conditions and crossing, and just, you know, when they're looking for a better life, you know, from uh, running away from the conditions that this country has created in their, in their home place. Yeah. Do you purposely, I mean, use, because you didn't use, you, you kept it in Spanish, right? Yeah. You, know, you, you, yeah. you purposely kept the Spanish because it, it's aimed for the, for the community that's being affected by it? Or? Yeah. So to me, you know. What would your non-Spanish speaker <laughs> fans say about that? Like, what, well, why, why keep the, you know, just Spanish only? To me, uh, one of the groups that we're really inspired by in making posters is this group of Spag. And when Spag made posters, they would make them like quadlingual, trilingual, you know. It'd be Spanish, English, French, and Arabic. And and so when when we have the chance, I'll do that. But sometimes you know, it's just, I'm trying to get the simple message to me. Uh, that piece just really um, favored, you know, the people who it's about. And to me, you know, I wanted my mom to be able to read that. I wanted the community to be able to read that. And that was originally done in the mission. And when I made it, I put some out in the community. So I wanted the people to be able to read that. So to me, that's why it was originally in that language. And and to me, it was not even really thinking about it, but it was just that's how it came out. So it's just, I, I guess that's how it was. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it's just, I don't know, like that part of you, like just, I don't know, it just speaks out yeah. much louder yeah. than any it's other just, language. And your colonized language, nice language. <laughs> yeah. even though Spanish is kind of a colonized language. But anyways, uh, thank you so much yeah, yeah. for being uh, here today at Bobby's house <laughs> and uh, for for you know talking about your piece and and the importance of art and activism. Thank you so yeah. much, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, bye. Bye.